Hey guys, welcome back to another... Oh, hang on, there's a kid. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to another video tutorial. Now, um, today I'm going to show you a very simple martial arts and tricking, kicking combo that is definitely simple and easy to learn. Not only you can do this to start off your martial arts journey or tricking journey, you can use this to just basically impress your friends. It's really that simple. Everybody can do it. Um, a beginner to an expert can do it. And even someone who starts off just yesterday in martial arts can do this. All you have to do is just have a little bit of practice, be consistent about it, commit, and keep on training it like it is a push-up or a squat every day. Now, these movements usually is done by martial artists when they are demonstrating their movements or maybe doing a little bit of a show. But even then, I think this movement, particularly for beginners, is very simple and everybody can do it. So as you can see, that's basically it. It started off with a cartwheel, followed through by a 360 kick, and a hook kick and then finally a jumping hook kick which I will break down after this now the aesthetic appeal will always be how smooth the movement is and how well you can do it so practicing it over and over again will definitely be a virtue but don't stress it out you have to relax while you're doing it and in time you will get it down and then definitely create something great out of it now warming up, that's what we are going to start with. Warming up is really important. Not only it prepares you to do more complex stuff in the future, but it opens up your body to more significant range of motion in the process of learning. Open up your hips, open up your thighs, make sure you start to sweat, make sure your body core temperature is up and you're ready for other bigger movements. And you can do squats, you can do push-ups, you can run a little bit if you can. This, as long as you start to sweat, start to feel the pump going on, start to feel that you can actually do more movements and feels like you want to do more movements. That, that is basically when the warm-up starts to work. Now, after that, let's get started. Okay, now, step one. is as simple as a cartwheel. Cartwheel is often in gymnastics and capoeira. Um, they do a little bit different here and there, but the essence is the same. Lift your leg up as your hand straight down, flat on the ground, propels you through the movement. If you can, you can always regress by a small cartwheel. Start off from here, hands down, straight face, look at the audience and lift your leg throughout. It's really that simple, guys. All you have to do is swing through. You have to learn how to swing through Keep your body straight, keep your legs straight and hands straight. Don't forget your head has to face the audience. This is the simplest way to make sure that you don't get dizzy, you don't miss the spot. And step number two is a 360 tornado kick. People maybe say it um, 360 or maybe tornado kick, but anything goes. Maybe you'll call it differently. And that's okay, but the basics and the essence is the same. You kick over your shoulder and you lift your leg, hind leg, and then jump over it. Simple as that. Now you can regress through this by learning how to jump to it first. Get some height and get some range. So start from a wide stance, step forward, over, and kick. Now you can use your inner side of the leg first, just to make sure that you get the hang of the kick get the hang of the jump of the range of the kick how far will you jump over to the side make sure you get comfortable with it now the difference between this and the tornado kick is your leg placement you have to rotate your leg inside kick it with your shin kick it with your upper side of the leg and by then it makes it look like a actual kick if you use your inner side of the leg more often it doesn't look that lethal but if you use it like a roundhouse kick that makes it a lot more awesome a lot more you know impressive now you need to learn how to be able to jump towards your kick 
and then at the end rotate your leg inside remember to think about movement don't think about it as a constant jumping up or a constant jumping side but it's both at the same time it's something that you need to learn it's something that you need to practice until you find a good way to do it your legs will swing through your legs will jump high and your legs will kick rotate inside in a way that it does not confuse your body and it makes you feel comfortable that you can actually propel a lot of energy towards that kick remember to rotate your legs in kick it with your shin imagine that you're kicking a face or a target with your shin and try to stop in the stance step three this is called the hook kick or maybe the jumping hook kick they are both one and the same you can learn one you can learn the other it's all just about progression okay now remember to generate your strength from the ground up from your legs propel up and twist and turn turn in a way that you're trying to hit the target and make sure that you're looking at one direction okay it takes time don't worry but all you need to do is practice it so first wide stance step forward look over your shoulder and then snap and that's it it's simple as that it can never get any simpler over and snap that's it over and snap the energy and the spin comes all from the leg and the shoulders are just the steering wheel all you have to do is to make sure it is focused and targeted throughout now learn how to spin spin with your legs propel from the ground up and then use your shoulders to spin it over and now step four progressing to the jumping hook kick now the jumping hook kick is basically a hook kick that you jump on remember to learn how to spin first so that you get comfortable generate from the ground up and jump now what you have to do is spin put your hands together on your chest and propel the energy from the ground up and spin get comfortable with this make sure that you can land in one direction where the audience are and then by then you can just snap out your leg as soon as you're comfortable with the spin as soon as you're comfortable with the position remember to put your body together it makes it simpler and easier for you to spin okay now to snap the kick out snapping the kick needs a significant amount of power you need to get your twist down you need to get your feet placement down and you need to get your energy in the right place that's why you have to really learn to spin and propel the legs throughout the spin and after that to maximize it you propel the energy from the ground the twitch of the bottom leg creates most of the energy not the shoulders the shoulders are there just for a steering wheel but all the twitch and all the energy comes from the legs get comfortable with the spin and lay out your leg and after that the flying hook kick comes with these and finally chaining the movement together now to get used to the up and down motion just as simple as looking at the audience keeping your eyes straight to the target makes it easier for you to chain the movements together remember the less steps the better this is what creates a harmonized and a significantly smooth flow by decreasing the drag that comes in with a step now bear with me start with a cartwheel stop on the side step forward and then do a tornado kick and then stop directly do a hook kick land back and then propel for your jumping hook kick now it is really that simple all you have to do is keep on practicing keep on training try to make it as harmonized and as smooth as possible practice to chain the movements together and make them look effortless that is where the aesthetic appeal comes in you can impress your friends with this impress your crush with it or even open up more doors of martial art movement in the future not only makes you strong makes you more athletic it also creates a better you in a sense because i think this movement is so basic but it's so really cool at the same time. Everybody can learn this. Remember, just don't give up and keep on training.
So thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned a thing or two from this. Like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you soon.